These are the narcissist's absolute hate, no matter how much you treat them with care. People who are narcissistic often hold grudges and feel animosity toward others. This may be because their jealousy causes them to constantly look for flaws and even to actively dislike almost everything in their environment. Some people may hate you, but they might not tell you that. They may pretend to be amicable in order to conceal their actual motives. A narcissist's need to feel in command and in charge of other people drives their bad behaviors. They may attempt to win your favor by making you laugh or by appealing to your sense of humor, among other strategies. Remember that a narcissist is just looking out for themselves and may injure you in the future if they decide it will help them. Narcissists are great actors and actresses because they are so good at reading and manipulating other people's emotions. Being aware of a narcissist's typical behavior patterns will help you avoid falling for their manipulations. Realizing that a narcissist feels nothing but hatred and loathing for you is the first step in protecting yourself from falling prey to their deception. Always keep in mind that a narcissist's love for themselves is unrivaled by their love for anyone else. They will use you as a means to an end and then cast you aside once they have what they came for. To combat this, you should set firm limits and be very honest with the narcissist about what you want and expect from the relationship. Keep in mind that the narcissist's acts are not your responsibility and you should not beat yourself up over them. Take care of your emotional and mental health and be sure to hang out with individuals who will support and care for you. The narcissist's animosity against you is demonstrated through the following. These aren't the kinds of things narcissists typically admit out loud, so some of you might be skeptical. You have to believe me when I say that hate is a potent word. If you say you hate someone or something, it signifies you feel extremely negative emotions toward that person or thing. Narcissists feel this way about just about everyone, but especially the people they pretend to love. There's no denying how easy it is to see no matter how we choose to interpret it. A person's actions, words, and gaze can frequently reveal a great deal about how they feel about you. Most narcissists won't tell you they hate you, but their behavior will reveal how they really feel. Actions speak more clearly than words, yet we should consider both. The covered narcissist has the ability to secretly strike at those they hold in contempt or seek to punish. Unfortunately, I was the unfortunate recipient of their callous actions, as they sabotaged the situation for their own gain and circulated rumors about me. The degree of narcissists' animosity against you can be gauged by the way they treat you. You'll know what it means when they treat you like garbage, cheat on you, ghost you, cast a spell on you, inflict intentional harm on you, ridicule you in public, or otherwise make you feel uncomfortable. Even if they will try to make up to you shortly after they have humiliated you, the list of possibilities is unlimited. However, we may not recognize the narcissist's actions until after the event. You might have harmed so much by then that they've had enough. This is due to how adept they were at making us doubt our own perceptions of events and at attributing blame for our difficulties to our own actions. Narcissists will go to great lengths to conceal how they truly feel about others. What we're left with is a secret enemy who strikes whenever possible. Covert narcissists are those who pretend to be someone else in order to get what they want from others. At the end of the day, we're stuck with an adversary who pretends to be a friend, family member, or beloved spouse. The agreement is finalized when people are turned against you and your reputation is damaged through slander or lies. The truth exposes how much they care about you and how badly they want to hurt you, because it's clear that someone doesn't care about you if they can look you in the eye and lie to you. Can someone tell you a lie to make you unpopular with others? It goes without saying that a liar may convince you to believe their lies, if they can convince you of mental or other problems. When they don't exist, that's a red flag. You really can't hang around here forever. They aren't someone you can call a friend. It's not right for someone to tell you a falsehood to boost their own self-esteem or to make them feel more appreciated. Regardless of their motives, 
They should know that a foundation of lies cannot support a long-term structure. You now have sufficient knowledge to understand that you are irrelevant to them. Even if you don't see them as an adversary, they certainly see you as one. Narcissists lie to cover up their resentment of other people. It's clear that the narcissist despises you if they trashed you in the past or are still doing it now. The animosity, meantime, doesn't go overnight. Although they do admirably in hiding it, their behavior betrays their true feelings. Everything about a narcissist is a lie. And if you look closely enough, you can see that jealousy, pride, and greed are the dark, terrible forces beneath those lies. Finally, know that narcissists are often secretly bitter and angry towards everyone, even the people they claim to love the most. Sometimes they'll put up a pleasant front, but below it all, they're just trying to manipulate and acquire power over the people they're around. Narcissists are experts at understanding and playing on other people's feelings. And as a result, they are able to get others to question their own reality views and place the blame for their problems squarely on their own shoulders. Learn to identify the warning signals of a narcissist's hostility and take appropriate action to safeguard yourself against their destructive behavior. Some examples of this would be to establish firm limits, maintain open lines of communication, and reach out for help from those who will truly have your back. You should take care of your own mental and emotional health and realize that the narcissist's behavior is not your fault. You can shield yourself against a narcissist's manipulation if you know how they operate behind the scenes. I believe that is all for today. Please remember to like and share this video if you believe it to be helpful. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of the week.